Hello again, it's Sam with Blind Shell. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at both the stopwatch and the minute timer. So both of these apps are in the tools section and that is in the more applications. So we're gonna to navigate to that. We're gonna click the right directional pad here. Messages, two of contacts, more applications, form nine. Till we reach more applications, we're gonna click okay. Tools, one of four. And the first option is tools. That's where the minute timer and stopwatch are. So we're gonna click okay. Alarm, one of nine. Minute timer, two of nine. Minute timer is the second option. Stopwatch three of nine. Stopwatch is the third. Let's go back to the minute, minute timer. timer. two of nine. We're gonna click OK. Timer not active. Five minutes, zero seconds. So we wanna click on this timer to get some more options. Activate one of two. We can either activate this particular timer, this five minute timer, or we can scroll to the right. Set time, two of two. And we can change the time. So we'll go ahead and do that. Minutes, one of three. So we have three options. The first one is minutes. Seconds, two of three. Seconds. Save three of three. And then we can save whatever we set here. So let's go back to the minutes. Seconds, min save three of three. Minutes, one of three. And we'll set our minutes. Minutes. Now I just want to set whatever number of minutes I would like for this timer. Uh, if I don't want any minutes, I just want to set uh, seconds, then I just leave this blank and we go back. Minutes, one of three. Seconds, two of three. And I'm going to click on seconds now. Seconds. I'm going to set this just to, we'll just say five seconds. Five. Seconds. Five, two of three. And it says five seconds. Now I want to go to the third option, which is save. Save three of three. Save this one. Zero minutes, five seconds. Tells set me. time, two of two. Tells me what my timer is set for. Zero minutes, five seconds. Activate one of two. Now I want to go ahead and activate this. I'm going to click OK. Active remaining time, four seconds. And we'll wait for this to end. Time is up. We get vibration and we get the alarm letting us know that it is done. I'm just going to click OK. Timer not active, five seconds. So I'm setting this one for 10 seconds. Save three of three. Zero minutes, 10 seconds. Because I want time, to, two two. because I want to show you that you don't have to stay on the timer in the timer app here. So if I go ahead and activate. Activate one of two. Active remaining time, eight seconds. Call one of nine. And we're gonna go back to our main menu here. And just to show that you don't have to stay in time the is up. app. There it is. Call one of nine. Click OK to cancel that timer. Now let's check out the stopwatch. It's a very similar process here. Zero seconds, stopped. I'm gonna click into stopwatch and it tells us our current stopwatch and we don't have one running, so it's zero seconds. Now I want to set this, so I'm gonna click OK. Start stopwatch one of one. And the only option we have is to start the stopwatch, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Zero seconds, running. All right, I've let this stopwatch go for a while here, and now if I ever want to check to see where I am currently, very simple, I can just press down on the directional pad. One minute, seven seconds, running. And it gives me an update, tells me where I'm at. Something else I'd like to point out is you don't have to stay on this screen, stay in the stopwatch app. Call one of nine. We can go back to our main menu, do other things. Message. Contacts, three of them, more applications, tools, one of four, alarm, one And if of we nine. go minute back, timer, stopwatch, three of nine. Into our stopwatch app. One minute, 50 seconds, running. It's still running. So if I'm done with the stopwatch, I want to stop it, I just click OK. Two minutes, one second, stopped. And it stops and it tells me the time that it stopped at. Once again, I can press down if I want to hear that again. Two minutes, one second, stopped almost at perfect two minutes, that's great. Now, if I want to interact with this particular stopwatch, I can click OK. Resume stopwatch one of three. I've got a couple options. The first one is to resume. I can start where I left off. Restart stopwatch two of three. I can restart the stopwatch and that will restart it at zero. Zero stopwatch three of three. 
or I can zero out the stopwatch and then it will be ready for the next time that I want to use it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Zero seconds. Stopped. So that is how to use the minute timer and the stopwatch on the Blind Shell Classic phone. If you'd like to learn more about what you can do with your Blind Shell Classic phone, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel and watch more of our tutorials.